Hey guys, Brandon here on the Calvary Chapel Hemet campus, and I'm going to be bringing you today's Heart to Home uh, daily devotional. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, one of my favorite Bible verses, and well, actually it's two verses, and we're going to talk about that, uh, but most of the time you only hear one of them uh, quoted. Uh, but these verses, they, they must be taken together to truly understand um, what the Apostle Paul is talking about. Um, it's found in the book of Romans, chapter 8, uh, verse 28 and verse 29. 29 is very important. Uh, that's usually the one that gets left out. Uh, but this is what we read, starting in verse 28. And we know, okay, so Paul's saying, we know without a doubt, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, here's verse 29, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Now, oftentimes, uh, that first verse, verse 28, is it's quoted to people um, to, to kind of encourage them in something that they're going through. Uh, maybe uh, some hard time, some trial, maybe something tragic, right? Uh, but how do you tell someone who, for example, just lost a loved one that God is working this out for good, that there's something good about that? Um, or how do you tell someone that their child becoming ill, um, uh, there's something good that God is doing there? You can't just leave it at that, right? But the verse clearly says that, that all things, that means all, good and bad, all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose, right? So do you love God? Are you called by God? Well, if you don't know, put your faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you'll find out that you are, in fact, called. And if that's the case, guys, then these verses are for you, okay? Notice that this does not apply uh, to the lost or to uh, the one who rejects Christ. These verses are for the saints. This is for the church. And so if you love God and you are called, then the promise is that all things work for good, okay? Now where people uh, get messed up is by not sharing what that good is, okay? What is the good that Paul is referring to here? All things work together for good, but, but what's the good, right? Well, that's where verse 29 comes in, guys. Notice Paul starts it with the word for, okay? Verse 29 starts with for. That tells us that he's going to say something in reference to what he just said. Okay, so let's look at verse 29 again. It starts out with, for whom, that's us the believers, right? We're the whom here. For whom he, God the Father, foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he, Jesus, might be the firstborn among many brethren. You see, church, before the foundations of the world, God predestined you to something, okay? And that something is to be conformed to the image of his son, Jesus. See, that's the good that Paul's talking about in Romans 8, 28, okay? And so let me put it this way. God chose you and he is weaving everything together for good for you. And that good is not earthly pleasure. It's not comfort, earthly comfort. It is conformity to Christ, guys. That's the good, conformity to Christ. God is going to use the things we go through in life, all things, to cause us to become more Christ-like, church. To be like Jesus. That is the good. It is a good thing to be more Christ-like. When God's children are Christ-like, then Christ himself is the firstborn. He is first and all of us are being conformed to him, okay? That's what it means when it says he might be the firstborn among many brethren. We are the many brethren there, okay? He's first, we're following after him. We're conforming to his image, right? 
And so I hope that this uh, helps you in whatever situation uh, you may be going through, okay? Yes, God is working all things together for good, and that good is you becoming more and more like Jesus Christ. What have you been going through lately? It's good practice for us to stop and ask ourselves, you know, how is God making more, making me more Christ-like in this situation? Am I learning to love like Jesus loved? Is my love becoming more like Jesus' love? Uh, am I learning to be long-suffering like Jesus is? Am I learning to turn the other cheek like Jesus instructs? Am I learning to be humble like Jesus was when he, he got down and washed his disciples' feet? How is God using your situation for good? How is he using it to make you more like his son? That's what he's predestined you for. That's what he's predestined me for, to be like his son, Jesus Christ. Hey, guys, it's always a pleasure going through these little daily de devos with you and uh, looking forward to the next time we're together. Hey, God bless you guys. We'll talk to you later.